In today's video, I will show you how you can make a simple map animation. This is really straightforward step-by-step -step guide, so tap subscribe if you haven't already and let's begin. As a first step, make a screenshot of the map you want to use. I got mine from Google Maps. Position and zoom the map to your needs. I use Snippy to get the screenshot. Save it on disk and add to the DaVinci project. Simply drag and drop it to the timeline. In my timeline I've got already one clip with the road, this will be our background. Now place the screenshot over the clip and open Fusion. Now disconnect media in, you can hold shift and drag it away or double click the line. Add a new background node in the inspector in the tab image, uncheck auto resolution and set your timeline width and height. In my case it's full HD so 9020 and 1080. And in color tab make it transparent by setting alpha to zero. What I'm gonna do now is merge media in over the background and connect the composition with the media out. Select the merge node and in the inspector set center and size controls to your liking. With the media in node selected, open selection tool, shift space and search for color corrector and click add. In the inspector set saturation to zero, contrast to max, lift to minus one and decrease brightness. And that should be it, the image is black and white with high contrast. By the way, to preview a specific node in the viewer, tap 1 or 2 on the keyboard to display it on the left or right viewer. Next, select the merge node and from selection tool search for Luma Keyer and add. In the inspector check invert and adjust the contract expand control. I will move it just a tiny bit towards contract. So basically we have eliminated the white parts of the map and made it transparent. Only borders, names, roads and so on are visible. Now I'm gonna make a copy of the background and merge node. Simple Ctrl C, Ctrl V. And I'm gonna connect it like this. So basically I have merged over the media in over the background node. The green arrow is foreground, the yellow one is background. Let me preview the merge node on the left and I'm gonna draw a mask using polygon. So add polygon node and draw the area you want. Let me fast forward it for you. Now connect the polygon with the mask input. Next with the merge node selected open selection tool and add drop shadow. I will disable it for a moment and add transform node by clicking this icon. Finally, merge it after Lumakir node. Next, I'm gonna animate the map. So what I'm gonna do is keyframe blend parameter in the merge node. Let's say at frame 15, I will create first keyframe and set blend to zero. Then 20 frames later, I will create another keyframe with blend value set to one. So this is what we've got so far. With spline tool I will smooth the animation. From free dot menu make sure you have checked uh, show only selected tool and also click zoom to fit. So in here we can smooth our blend animation. Simply select both keyframes and tap S. Next I'm gonna proceed the same way with drop shadow. First I will enable it back and I will keyframe blend parameter in settings tab. Let's say from keyframe 30 I will create first keyframe and set value to zero. Then 20 frames later I will create another keyframe with blend value set to one. I will also smooth it out with spline. Then in a transform node I will keyframe size parameter to make an impression of the map being lifted. So this is what we've got so far. And now with a new polygon I will draw a line that will represent the road we took. I 
I will make another copy of the background node, but I will change the color and set alpha to zero. I will mask it with the polygon and merge it to our composition. In the polygon I will set border width to something like 0, 0, 0,055. With the polygon selected, switch to modify only mode, select all the points of the polygon and click smooth. Next, keyframe length parameter. So starting from the frame 100, I will set it to 0 and uh, maybe 80 frames later I will create another keyframe with value 1. I will smooth it out with spline, same as before. So we've got the road animation. You can add text nodes to label starting and target place. Let me fast forward it for you. I like to add some kind of pulsing dots. So in order to do it, add an ellipse mask. In the inspector, set the size and location. To make sure the width and height are always the same, what I like to do is right click on the height control, expression, then drag the plus icon over the width. So now width and height will always equal. Then make a copy of the background node, connect it with mask input and merge over the composition. Then keyframe width and level controls. So at frame 19, Create first keyframe, 20 frames later another one, go back to the first keyframe and set width value to 0. So the ellipse is growing like this. Then at frame 97 create first keyframe for level control and 20 frames later set it to 0. So this is how it looks. Now I'm gonna make a copy of the ellipse and background node, merge it over and adjust the center control. So now we have two pulsing spots. If you want the animation to repeat in spline, just select all the keyframes, right click, set loop and loop. So this is what we've got so far. Let me keyframe blend parameters of the merge nodes of the texts so they appear at right moment. And finally you can add even more movement using transform node. So add the transform node at the end of the composition, highlight the last merge node and click transform node icon. In the transform node, you can keyframe size and pivot. So let's say at keyframe 65, I will create keyframes for size and pivot. Then 20 frames later, I will increase size and change location of the pivot. Then I will create more keyframes for pivot to follow along the road. So in here, maybe another one here also, and so on. Once the destination is reached, I will create a keyframe again for size, and 20 frames later I'll set the size back to 1. In spline I will smooth it out as usual, and here it is our final roadmap animation. Let's go back to edit page and see how it looks with the background clip. So as a final touch, what I'm gonna do is add Gaussian blur. And it's ready. I hope you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. If you wish to support my channel, leave a random comment. Check out my coffee page also. Cheers and see you in the next one!